Hello, Cosmic here today. And we're gonna be reacting to something someone suggested for me. It's called the male loneliness epidemic. Before I even start the video, I just think at the moment everybody's lonely. Like I feel like it's just not a man thing or a male thing. I think just everyone just feels lonely at the moment. Even if you're with someone, I think people still feel alone and my opinion is a lot different because i spend 90 percent of every day or even 90 percent a week alone like it's not i'm not a people person or i don't like going out it's just i can do both i i can sit in a house for three months and not talk to a single person and i can go out fucking doing something three months every day like every day for three months i can go out do shit so like i can just do both i don't mind the loneliness but i don't mind people either and like neither of them bother me they both have their really good upside so like i don't know but you know we'll see what this person has to say about loneliness i regret to inform you the men are not okay that's right folks the men are not okay look nothing against you 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. No one's okay at this point. The economy is going to shit. We had COVID for three years. It's just not men. Everybody's not okay. Like, the lives we had before 2019 will never be back to what they were. Like, so many people lost people from COVID. Like, I lost, I lost my father. He died. I lost my grandmother, she died, like, life just, for 90% 90, 90 of people will not return. That's, I think that's why everything is going the way it is. Hey, the men have no friends. Wait, I would like to, men have fewer friends than ever, and it's harming their health. I'm going to give my opinion on friendships. I have one best friend. That's it. I don't have any friends after him. <clears throat> I only have him and that's it. I have one best friend. So like... I don't know. Maybe some people need lots of friends. Like, I only need the one. Like, I have other friends, but we're just friends. But I, I don't see them as like real friendships. We mostly like hang out once in a great while. So my opinion on friendship might be different, but I don't know how it is for females, but my sister has like hundreds of friends. Like, I think just males just keep their close, like very close people and that's it. Well, females, they can, they can just friend anybody. Like, I don't know. No girlfriend. I had two girlfriends and dumped them both. I don't, I don't know how other people feel about it, but I just can't be in a relationship. I just, I just, I, I don't know if, I think most men do feel lonely when it comes to this, but I feel like I just don't have enough time for, to give someone else at the moment. Like, to, to be in a relationship, you have to give so much time to that other person as well. No college. Your kids men gave up on you. I didn't go to look, I graduated high school at 16. I didn't go to college. I I I didn't go to college because I knew what I wanted to do in life and I didn't need a college degree. Like it took longer without one, but at the end I still ended up the same pro. I think college is for people who are not who have intelligence but who are not small enough to make it without the degree. But there's a problem with college degree. For example, some person I, it's not a person I, well, I do know them, but there's this person that works down at a 7-Eleven down the road. He has a master's degree in, um, in software engineer, and he's working there because no one's hiring him. Most places at the moment are not hiring people, and I know this is weird to say, with AI, doing stuff like he does is actually becoming easier so like i don't know i think a college degree is useless to a point like i think the, i think 
it's useful if you want to become like a doctor a teacher like we need things like that but people want to do things that at the moment the market is oversaturated in such education no money i men too poor to date nowadays no everyone's too poor to date nowadays this is a man saying everything is fucking expensive if you if you could sit here and tell me like a thousand women be like oh i could do that no everything is expensive dating is expensive i'd rather just have a date at home are breaking their legs and inserting metal rods into their bones to be a few inches look i'll admit it i'm five six and i don't want to be any taller i i wish i could just be five foot exactly i don't like being tall and i don't understand the problem with being short i don't know if women just don't like short people i don't know i i don't see the actual problem i don't like the idea of being tall my brother is five no he's uh six four He's fucking tall. Like, when he comes to my house, he hits his head on the door, like, the top of the door frames in every room because he's too tall. He has to duck under. I don't... I, I think 5'5 five five is a perfect height. Like, I don't know how other people feel about this. And I know we're 15 seconds in the video. <laughs> the person who recommended this video to me knew exactly how much I was gonna, like, talk about it. Like, I don't see the problem with being short. It's taller. And listening to AI Batman help them overcome their <laughs> photography addiction. No, it's just AI Master Chief helping me with my Toyota 42. Addictions. <laughs> you deserve real love. Turns out the society that was built by and allegedly for men has indeed let them down. Now you might be thinking, oh look, another boo-hoo poor men video by Shoe on Head. Yes. And if you have a problem with that, tune into literally anything else. No, I respect it. If other people got a problem with it. Men are in a crisis and it seems nobody really cares. And the people who do care just seem like the people who want to sell them shit. It's not me. I'm different. So before we get into this, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Today's sponsor is Holtzgern. Holtzgern is a young Austrian company that designs unique crafted watches and jewelry made that... from all natural materials. Their high quality timepieces come in various- I don't feel say, isn't everything technically natural? Like, what is unnatural? Like, is it- It's- <sighs> Never mind, don't worry designs about Designs for both men and women. Making them the perfect- Like, when I think of unnatural, I think of a wizard, like, just, like, magically making a watch with magic. Like, that's unnatural. That shouldn't exist. For any occasion. They're a great blend of function and fashion, and overall, I just think they look very classy. It's weird, because I wear a watch symbol like this, and it, it hit me, like, a week ago that the newer generations don't know how to read these clocks and it's like huh i don't think it's a bad thing to be honest like some people think it's a bad thing no this this is a little like complicated and like frustrating an analog clock works better functions better Especially it gives exact time you can read it faster the men's watch collection I that's when it gets to, but we're gonna skip this unless I, I might buy a watch if I watch it. And what should we do about it? A few new studies have come out that have shown that young men are more lonely and single than ever before. But it's not just men, the women and children too. It's predicted 45% of women will be single and childless by 2030. But according to the media, this is a good thing. The economy is booming, as they say. Raising a child now is so fucking expensive. Like, my brother and his wife had a child. She's one. And all I hear about is how expensive it, raising a child is compared to what it was. And meanwhile, men being single is treated like this. New study explains why some single men 
are having a hard time finding a new partner. Some of the music that they listen to speaks very derogatory. Right. Yeah, man, stop listening to that derogatory music. <laughs> then maybe you won't be single. I don't know, I think men and women being single and lonely kind of shows there might be something wrong uh, with society. Perhaps we should address this, not just wave it off as empowering or pathetic. According to several different articles, I love how that's my source. I read about it on the internet. Research shows that people- <laughs> the, the best type of source. The second best type of source is you made it the fuck up. People from individualist countries show a greater sense of loneliness. This is linked to socioeconomic development, increased education, a shift towards white collar jobs, and urbanization. Japan also has an issue with loneliness. In fact, they have a whole movement of people they- Is it because there's more males than females in Japan? I might be wrong, it might be a different country, but I'm pretty sure there's- more males and females in Japan. Well, the hikukomori. Did I say that right? Close. I don't care. Basically, postmodern hermits. Mostly young men who completely withdraw from society, secluding themselves in their rooms for months and years at a time. In 2010, there was an estimated 700,000 hikukomori in Japan. And today, it's estimated to be about 1.55 million. And because of things like this, people aren't having babies, so Japan's population has been in a sharp decline since 2011. It's gotten so bad that Japan even produces videos of live-action women staring into the camera to help the hikikomori learn to cope with eye contact. To be honest, this creeps me out that more, more than anything else. This would creep people out. I don't know. Maybe it's me, but I think eye contact is a bad thing, right? Because as a young, when I was younger, I couldn't do it. Like, I always looked at the ground, but I trained myself to do it so much where I make people uncomfortable because I fully make eye contact the whole fucking, the whole time we're having a conversation. I'm fully eye contact with them. They'll move a little bit and I'll still be. And I make people really uncomfortable. I think eye contact is good to a point. But eventually some people get really uncomfortable with it. And reintegrate them back into society. So basically if you want to know America's future. Look no further than Japan. A lot of people, <laughs> including myself, Let's blame this partially on the rise of social media and technology. R.I.P. to the king. Although technology makes Shut things easier, up. it can also make us more atomized. Why go to the mall when I can just tap, 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 buy a new microphone and have it shipped to me in a day? Why hang out with friends when I can get all my social interaction I need from Twitter and streamers? Why go on dates and bother meeting women when I can just tap, 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 Google big boob and get two million results? or see my high school crush's holes on OnlyFans for only $5. Instant dopamine, instant satisfaction, and hey, who even needs a real woman when you could just have an AI girlfriend? Bro, the AI girlfriend shit is just so fucking funny. Friend. We're f***ed. <laughs> We're so <laughs> We all fucked. Look. <laughs> Look, she's not wrong. The human race at the moment is fucked. But... The human race has this saying where it'll try to do anything in its power to save itself. So maybe there's hope. But I agree with her. The human race is fucked. <laughs> Dating apps really are the great Satan, and I'm convinced they've completely broken men's brains. Women on dating apps are picky. Women in general are picky, and I mean, naturally we are pickier. You know, we're the ones who carry the babies, at least for now. But on dating apps, you have to admit, <laughs> it's a little insane. Wow. Okay. It's safe to say that the commodification of love and the window shopping of dating apps. No, I want everyone to know this. I don't want someone who's just fucking pretty. I want someone who has the intelligence, who who can understand me. I don't care how ugly that person is. If their personality is really good, that's good enough. Because I think I think looks don't matter. I think it's how you want to be around that other significant, like... ...probably has to do a lot with the rise of lonely single men. Men are not just lonely when it comes to dating, they're lonely when it comes to friendship too. According to Vox, Americans are currently in a friendship recession, and men are being hit the hardest. The percentage of men who reported having at least six close friendships fell in half 
since the 90s. One in five men say they have no close friendships. I only have one. I don't know. I, I always thought it was normal. I, I, it, I maybe it's mouth based on person because I know the best friend I have. Like me, he he always calls me his best friend as well. But he has other friends. That he never, none of them are like as close as we are. But like he has a lot of friends compared to me. I don't know. I I think it's just based on person. Like I don't need a lot of friends to be happy. Like I don't need that type of like reinsurement. I don't know. Looking at I'm rambling at this point. All these statistics, the explosion of figures like Andrew Tate is not surprising at all. Andrew Tate is a fucking idiot and any male who sits and watches him and be like oh that guy knows what he's talking about should be fucking executed I'm sorry Andrew Tate is a fucking idiot at all I believe being a man is a blessing because it starts so difficult I believe that every man is born without any value at all I think that the world's never going to think you're important unless you make yourself important. And recently, a new study came out about how young men are moving towards the right. And every other month, we, the liberal, sockdom, leftist, whatever you want to call the space online, performs the same song and dance. What's wrong with men? Why is this happening? Why don't we have a leftist Andrew Tate? We need to push men to the <laughs> Why don't we have a leftist Andrew Tate? Oh my god! Left. Andrew Tate rarely, if ever, talks about politics. Andrew Tate talks about men. And the left only talks about men, Let's go, men. when they talk about Andrew Tate. A few months ago, during one of the monthly song and dances, some progressive people I follow made the mistake of addressing men's issues. And the even bigger mistake of pointing their finger. The reason young men flock to alt right. Oh. at their own spaces for not doing enough to address said men's issues. Recently, there were some statistics by healthcare company Cigna indicating that men are the loneliest generation. And addressing it doesn't mean that you turn your back on issues pertaining to women, but it does mean that- I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, men that lonely? I need like I need like a fucking head count. Can I get like a head count? Like, like every man who's lonely, can you uh, uh just someone put a one in the thing and just if you if you're lonely, just fucking like that comment. Like I need a head count. Like how many people are lonely? That we should be focused on what it is in society that is leading to this epidemic. What the left can do to offer solutions, and how we can basically. Oh, I don't want to get controversial. You know what? I'll keep it to myself. Actually fight back against the more nefarious figure. No, I think I know why men are lonely. Well, I think I might know why. I, I think it's just because how the new generation see the water, right? Because it's confusing as hell. Because you just got a bunch of new shit. Like, you got all the new gender shit. Like, that's confusing as hell. You have to be careful how you talk to people. Because if you offend someone just a little bit, you're instantly the bad guy. You have to be careful with pronouns. Like, if you first meet someone, if you fuck up the pronoun, you're you nailed on a cross because you're supposed to know um, how most of the newer generation thinks they dissolve respect right out of the like right out of the gate so when they meet a new person they demand that person respect them immediately and that's not how respect works it's on i just think it, it has to do with how the new generation works it's just hard to do anything because if you fuck up just a little bit you can destroy your life you say something wrong, you can lose your job over something stupid. It's just, I think it's just, there's just too many problems. Talking to people is just too big of a risk. Figures who have filled the void uh, that, you know, men are struggling with, people like Jordan Peterson and what have you. Now, recently, uh, Vosh, who's a popular streamer, had 
tweeted this thread that I think is really, really important to address. He writes, I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand that 12-year-old white boys on Twitch are not being pulled into fascism because of some Machiavellian desire to preserve and expand their privileges. It's because the right talks to them and the left doesn't. The responses to these tweets and this content were very normal, level -headed. I know, I look, I think with fascists and stuff all bad, but what fas the fascism side does is they convince these younger kids that it's a community, it's a group. They watch out for each other, and that's what they want. I think that's why it's happening. It's, it's fucked up. But, like, if you have nowhere else to turn, and it, it, this, these people are willing to bring you in, what do you lose? You, you don't technically lose anything. You only gain. Headed and respectful. Me when I lie. <laughs> Elameo, cry about it. Boo f***ing who? Oh no, poor widow men having problems. Boo f***ing who? Grow the f*** up then. Have men considered- <sighs> What the fuck is wrong with people? First off, I feel like when women have problems, if you don't get shit like this on, I might be wrong. Like, why can't both sides have problems and why can't both sides help each other out? I don't understand this whole women versus men thing. Like, I don't get why it's happening. We're all on the same fucking planet. We're all dealing with the same problems. We're all having rough days. Why can't we all just be friends about it? Why can't we all talk about it? If you're having a bad day, I got your back. If I'm having a bad day, you should have my back. Like, we don't know each other, but at the, at the end of the day, why are people saying shit like this? Being smarter? I'm enjoying all these sad little moids and their sad little tweets about their sad, pathetic lives. Sounds like a personal problem. Is the Okay, that last one, it's a little bit of a personal problem. I don't know why. Lack? Lack of compassion for men in the room with us right now. Maybe men are just not good people then. I'm so fucking tired of people trying to make male loneliness a huge societal problem. Yeah, no, their fifis are not my responsibility, and I shouldn't have to be punished because they can't get their shit together as human beings. Grow the f up. Why are we trying to win these entitled little predators over? The left isn't for them. That's why they go right in the first place. We're all lonely and alienated. It's young men going to the alt-right in droves. The problem isn't our messaging, it's them. It's literally not our problem. Men flock to Andrew Tate not because they're lonely, but because they're bigots. Hope this helps. Nah, it's just misogynists being louder than before and not getting laid, lol. Cry harder, losers. 90% of all homicides recorded worldwide were committed by male perpetrators. We should just get rid of all males, to be honest. This includes trans women, as they still retain male violence. By the way, you know the Tumblr feminists who were like, all men are sexist and rapist, male tears, penises are evil, blah blah blah, back in the day? Well, this is them now. Should've just let me cook back then. Listen up, chuckle <laughs> I'm white, socially awkward, autistic, in my 40s, ugly, overweight, crippled, got a weird balding pattern, and have bad <laughs> skin. You know what I didn't do? Choose to become a fascist. Because I recognize most of the sort that look like me are the problem. I may be hideously ugly and pathetic, but at least I'm not a fascist. Thank you for- Oh my god, what is wrong with people? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? For your input, buddy. I fucking hate this video. This video pisses me off. You're, uh, really helping the situation. The yeah. reason young men flock to alt-right MRA movements is because the left gives brain-dead advice to young men. We need to be more compassionate to them, for our own sake. I'm sorry, but how is respect women brain dead advice? Why does it have to... Look, look, look. I can be an asshole too. Why does it have to be just respect women? Why can't it just respect people? Like, like, why can't we just respect everybody? Why does... Why do you have to bring up just women? I know men don't respect other men. So, like... What advice? Don't rape? Don't be a rapist is bad 
advice. Help, I have no friends or community. I feel suicidal. Um, have you considered not raping? I'm gonna be honest. I believe in equal rights. If a woman came up to me and be like, have you thought about not raping? I would punch her immediately. I would do the same with a guy. Act like a decent fucking human being. It's not hard. Is brain dead advice? Brain dead advice like get consent and don't be a Nazi and women are people. Walking up to men. That's a given. Like. <sighs> people. Walking up to men struggling with loneliness and depression like. Kids. Don't be racist. Incredible. Here's my actual advice I would give to my teen boys as a leftist. One, always get enthusiastic consent. Two, save the planet. Three, don't say- Why is consent like always the first one with women? Like is there something- is, is like rape like on the rise or something? Is there like a problem? Do I have to look up like what's going on in the world? I know I keep myself shut in because at this point I don't give a fuck. Because the world is just not me anymore. I stopped giving a fuck like during 2018. After that, it just went downhill. It's like, yeah, I'll, the world can burn without me. I'll live my life on this planet until I kick the bucket at the age 25. Say that. It's actually kind of racist. Like, what the f is this? How does this address men and their issues? No, how to stop racism? Just make everything okay. Things are only racist is because people get offended by it. Like, it doesn't. Why does their advice always seem to be become a liberal? Hey, men, here's how to fix all your problems. Agree with me. I would never become a liberal. <laughs> Politically, men flock to the MRA movement because they're the largest beneficiaries of MRA shit. Imagine saying women flock to women's rights activism because they're the biggest beneficiaries of women's rights. Twitter was a mistake, but we can't get rid of it because they would go somewhere else. So that's the, like, it's like no f***ing <laughs> shit. Let's be honest. Aside from procreation purposes, men have become obsolete. Most women can find other methods of achieving orgasm without a man there. And speaking as a man, most of us are horrid to be around. And I don't blame any woman for just saying no thanks. Why is it always sex? Why is it always sex? I would want to be with someone, not just for that. It would be the companionship. It's knowing someone else has your back. Knowing if you're going through a problem, they're going it with it with you. I... Where did we go wrong? Where? where what happened? Like... I wish I could just go back to like 2014. Like, I feel like times were just simpler. Oh my God, dude. This is what every just pearly things tweet looks like to me. Just with the gender swapped. This is pathetic. You know what fixes male loneliness? Jerking off. As a man, I'll say this. Sit down, shut up, and beat one out. You'll feel better. I promise. You'll feel better than like five minutes later. It's just sadness again. Yeah, guys, just beat one out. Just off. Just watch porn. Batman will be very disappointed in all of you. It's so funny how men feel entitled to a girlfriend. No, you sexist freak. No, males, listen. All all males who are lonely can start dating other men. Well, let's do what let's do what women are doing, I guess. We don't need men. We don't need women. We should just start dating each other. Just just hear me out. Freak. When one side is like wanting a girlfriend is sexist entitlement, and the other side is like Here's how to get a girlfriend. I don't, I don't know, bro. What happened to males just kicking the bucket? Now they just come on here and try to make their loneliness and misery into some social justice. Yeah, you're a male. You work at nine and five and you die on the fucking job. Stop bitching about being lonely. Oh, trust me. Men are still kicking the Holy shit. It's, it's... The bucket. And when they're not giving mind-blowing advice like just to be a liberal, they're outright dismissing men's issues completely. It's not our job to educate them. Since men created the problem, they need to take steps to fix it. We have other things to care about. Men can figure out their own problems at 
this is kind of fucked up because when women had problems, it was everyone's problem. A man has a problem? Go fuck yourself, buddy. We ain't here for that. that. They created. Again, it's not women's jobs to change how men are socialized. It's a man issue, and y'all need to address that amongst yourselves. Yeah, you're right. We should all look handsome. We should all be like six, seven. We should all be having high paying jobs. Men created yourself. their own problems. Men can solve their own problems. The left is busy. Why does the well being of other people concern me? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Leftist, by the way. It's all systemic issues and societal factors and blah 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 until it's a man and then suddenly it's pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. This problem is just a consequence of the patriarchy. Now take a wild guess about which gender created the patriarchy. Solve your own problems and leave women alone. These people rightly mock the bootstraps rhetoric until the subject is a man and then it's bootstraps all the way down. They would never talk about any other group this way. It's wild and it's kind of like both sides are telling men to pull themselves up by their bootstraps but one is like i'll show you how and the other is like fuck off and when they're not <laughs> telling men to straight up fuck off they're giving the 200 iq answer that nobody has ever heard before just show your emotions bro and i'm not dismissing this problem okay i've, I've made videos talking about this oh you're i i'm not afraid to show my emotions if i'm angry at someone if I want to cry in that moment, I'm not like other men, I guess. Well, I just hold it in until later. No, I'll cry. Hell, I'll watch a sad movie and cry right there. Crying at your grandfather's funeral? Okay, f*** it. And so it's weird because I didn't cry at and like my father's funeral. I didn't cry at. I cried after, but I don't know why. I didn't feel sad at the moment. I felt sad after. Studies <laughs> have shown that men are scared. I never cry at funerals. It's not just because I hold it in. I just don't feel sad at them. It's usually after the funeral why it hits me. It's be weird. vulnerable, even around the homies. And can you blame them when the media says stupid <laughs> like this? Well, if my homie needed to cry, all he had to do was call. I'd be there. And he could sit. He doesn't have to say a single word. He could sit and cry for 10 minutes and leave. Fellas, is it woke to open up? You can't be able to just go woke. Up to your fellow men and discuss history. Men are socialized to believe strength, dominance, and stoicism are behaviors of a real man. I wasn't growing up like that. Is it any surprise that men are lonely and have <laughs> like my like I call him my father, but he's mostly my he's my stepfather. My my real father is a complete like gloss. But my mother raised me by herself for a while before I met my step before he she met my stepfather. So I didn't grow up with the strength thing or anything. My mom, I was more, I, I grew up multi, mostly like a woman. I'm going to be honest. Like I picked up mostly woman traits, but I did live with mostly women because my sister and my other sister, like I cook, I clean. I don't know. I like cooking. I like cleaning. I do laundry. And like, I do work out a little bit, but that's just because I have, because I like growing stuff in my garden spring and summer so lifting potting soil is a bitch without a little bit of muscle have less friends nowadays you have to be vulnerable to make friends don't tell me there aren't systemic problems affecting men now while a lot of this may be true men have been socialized this way for centuries and this is all relatively a new phenomenon toxic masculinity has existed forever if anything yeah, there's less true. toxic masculinity nowadays the cultural embrace yep most men are fanboys now congrats cheers <laughs> Take a shot at Hennessy. Race of like gender nonconformity, femboys, Harry Styles in a dress, Barbie movie, blah 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 blah. My point I'm not gay, but femboys are really testing my faith. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. The point is, toxic masculinity did not just appear in the mid 2010s, but social media did, and the internet did, and the rise of dating apps did, and the housing crisis, and living in a country where the wealth inequality is worse than it was during the Gilded Age. That all happened recently. Oh my god, the privileged life these poor little boys must have that their biggest problem is being lonely, i.e. so insufferable that nobody wants to sleep with them. So much more pressing than the poor-
so I lived extremely poor my whole life until I turned 17. Like, I have so much to say about this. I feel like the thing of men have it easier is a lie. Like, I don't see it, like, at all. Especially, like, the thing with white men, they have it so easy in this world. No, they don't. They don't. I don't, I don't know where that's coming from. I don't understand it. I lived poor my whole life. Like, until I turned 17, I, I was homeless for four years with my mother. We lived house to house. Hell, we lived in a car for a while while I was going to school. So I understand the food and house insecurity because you never know. I don't know why this is being brought up. I don't get it because I feel like not just men have this problem. This is a woman problem as well. Like, like th it doesn't make sense. Like, I don't understand these arguments. Or distribution of wealth causing people to suffer food and housing insecurity. Boo-hoo, you're lonely and have no friends and are suicidal, wah. Because feeling alienated under capitalism apparently isn't a thing. <laughs> Fucking capitalism. People are working harder and longer while wages have been stagnant. Men have been dropping out of college like flies. And what does that get you? Poor men. Because college is expensive as well. Like, you, you're, you're putting yourself at such a financial disadvantage going to college as well. Which, since women- Like, I don't understand why college isn't free. Men are doing amazing in college now, and many are now out-earning men. This most of the time leads to single men, which then leads to lonely men, which leads to depressed men, which leads to the high suicide rate. In my opinion, leftism at a policy level does a great job addressing the shitty material conditions that in part lead to the problems that men are facing, but then absolutely drops the ball when it comes to everything and anything related to men's cultural issues. Many such cases. And why would a struggling man even want to move left when the left appears actively hostile to them? The question of whether or not the hashtag online left is enough to appeal to hashtag men has become I know he's probably start talking about something serious. Why does it look like he just cried? He looks like someone is holding a gun in the background, Adam. He just like cried. It's like, make the fucking video. I don't know why. Become the question du jour. And like men have most of the money, authority, and do most of the murdering and assaulting. The average young man in America isn't Jeff Bezos. Also, why did this motherfucker just FBI crime statistics at me? Men do the most murder, okay? They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. They like that. They, they want it to stay that way, because it suits them. Because of the stuff, telling people they're special and deserve all the nice shit that they have, that's gonna be an easier sell 10 times out of 10 than like, saying, hey, maybe you should have less stuff and other people should have more. Leftism is when you don't have a lot of stuff. We're gonna take your stuff. You sound like a 65 year old Fox News. I was about to say the same thing, like. It just shows you how little people understand. Boomer's idea of what the left is. Are yeah. you a CIA agent? The right is saying to men, you will own a house. You will have beautiful children with your loving wife. You will have privacy. You will have free speech. You will own things and you will be happy. And the left is like, well, that last one's not true. Show me one person on the planet that's happy and I can tell you why they're not. No one's truly happy. And it's okay to be depressed. It just reminds you you're human. There's nothing wrong with it. You don't. Like, I think the worst part about depression is, is they want to instantly put you on medication for it. But they're being depressed, it's a part of being human, and it's something you have to get over with. Putting, giving you medication doesn't stop the problem of why you're depressed. It just stops or slows your depression down. It doesn't make it better. It will eventually get worse. You know how I know this? Because my mother was on four different antidepressants. My brother was on three. My sister was on two. I watched them go up, down, up, down. Then eventually they just gave out. They just gave up. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. What is they like having story? all of the stuff they don't deserve. But don't get me wrong. Republicans will not do shit. The Republican Party will not do shit. The establishment in general will not do shit to help any of this. But the right is at least 
rhetorically offering men something other than nothing or the eternal HR department. Every time this discord <laughs> comes up, there's people like, we need a leftist Andrew Tate. We need masculine role models on the left. But the fact is it's hard for progressives to organically appeal to men because a large part of progressivism is oppressive hierarchy and men are oppressors. Making progressivism look appealing to young men is an uphill battle from the start. And although it's funny to laugh at insane people on Twitter, as always, there have been a lot of left-wing content creators talking about men's issues. If you would have told me this would be a thing nine years ago, I would not believe you because anyone talking about men's issues back in the day was called an MRA or a pick me. But lately I have seen a lot of good pro men. Wait. I didn't, wait, did men have a problem with talking about how they felt or the problems they were having? Was that like, is that like a sin? What's going on? Have we been living under a rock for too long? I usually just do not give a fuck and I just leave the fucking world alone, but maybe I just need to wake up a little bit see what the fuck's going on around me. Lefty content, and I'll put some links to some below. I don't agree Look, with- I walk, I, I walk, I pay my bills, I pay my taxes, I pay my house property tax. That's all I need to do. Everything else is you guys problem. All the points they say, but I recommend watching. It's much better than- They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But the issue is- Yeah, anybody likes having all the stuff they don't deserve. That's just not a men thing. That's just a human fucking thing. A lot of this lefty pro-men content, it's always framed around how do we get them? As if men are just pawns and tools for your personal politics. How do we make the uh, left- Oh no, we are. Won't deny that. Left more appealing <laughs> to men. How do we stop lonely men from moving to Andrew Tate? Instead of just, how do we help men? And I think that's a really big issue. Both sides seem to treat men as political fodder. Disposable soldiers in the culture war and real war. Anyway, misandry is real. Oh good, finally. And while it doesn't systemically affect cis men, it most certainly affects trans men. Oh. Y'all talking about misandry doesn't harm men, and trans men are right there reading this shit, by the way. I see, now we only care about misandry because it affects trans men. Everyone stop, it's affecting a group I care about now. I love how the rhetoric just like evolved overnight from male tears to cis male tears. And I just have to ask, why aren't you including trans men in your misandry, hmm? Nobody told me how lonely being a man is. We knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us and to have people want to talk to us and to have a community. And then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you. And friendships are so much harder to build. And what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men. All of that's valid. But I also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. Welcome to being a man. Here's your complimentary isolation and yellow pillow. Oh yeah, don't forget about the baseball bat you get at the knees. Every man has to go through it. Just get back up, you'll be okay, sport. <laughs> I didn't know this was such a big problem, though. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like, maybe because I just see loneliness differently. Like, I'm lonely without the loneliness. Like, I just enjoy being by myself, but I enjoy being around people either, too. But I don't need it. I don't need socialization. I can trap myself in a house and fucking- I do! I do! Like, I talk to people online, but fucking barely hell. Most of the time playing solo games while I'm fucking watching stuff, while I'm taking care of my animals, while I'm gardening, but... Huh. I love how even when he's experiencing the issues of being a man, he's like, This doesn't invalidate people hating men. Come on, bro. Men struggling don't want to be lectured about the patriarchy. They don't want to be told it's all their fault. They don't want to be told they're part of the problem because first of all, they're not. The average 20 year old didn't build society. They go to work, come home, f off to sissy hypno fetish porn, and go to bed <laughs> like everyone else. <laughs> Oh, I've talked about this before, but a lot of men's value comes from the money they make, unfortunately. Men are natural I feel like- I feel like this is how everyone works. I feel like anyone's value- Ow. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to shut my window when I broke a fingernail, I think. I think anyone's value comes based on how much money they make. I think this just, that's just normal. Right? Providers. And if they have well, no maybe it's not for 
Never mind. Money to provide for, they get into Findom or send random girls on the internet money. I'm just kidding, but the fact is, a lot of men simply feel like they don't have a purpose anymore. Whether a job or a career that's fulfilling and pays well, or a woman or family to protect and take care of and provide for. Men are lacking purpose, and a man will crawl through a broken glass for a purpose. But you know who does make them feel like they have a purpose? <laughs> no, 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 no. I say that life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. The absolute audacity to act shocked that Andrew Tate is scooping these guys up after a decade of lol male tears is insane. Andrew Tate isn't the solution to men's problems but he is talking to them. The fact is you did not care about them for years, and even now you just want to recruit them, not help them. And that's why you will fail. And hey, maybe I'll be the Andrew Tate of the left. Men, listen up, wash your penis. So I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. Why do you think male loneliness has been increasing? What are your solutions for this problem? And are you dealing with loneliness? And I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye. This video pissed me off, but it's not because of poor. I think this is a really good video. I just... It's just how society is now that men are lonely. I would have to do more research on this because I actually... I might be a man, but I, I haven't actually noticed this problem. Maybe I should ask, like, some people around me. Is it, like, really a problem? It could be. Well, you know, I don't know what video I'm going to react to next, but until next time. I'll see if she has any more videos. Maybe I'll react to them. I don't know. I, I, I unironically liked the video, even though it made me somewhat angry and frustrated with the people in this fucking planet. But I liked it, so.